Hey everybody, my name is Kevin and welcome back from the video of Hitchhiker. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Now I'm gonna pay the pause it really quick because we're starting off hot with our brand new chapter, the third chapter of this game. I think there's five of them in total. And uh, we're in the middle of it right now. So right now we got our next, I guess, co-driver or whatever, the one that's driving us, Uber driver. It's a girl, I don't know who she is. She's definitely gonna try and um, help us out with our path and everything. Uh, like the two previous ones. I wasn't a, much of a fan of Vern. Uh, the uh, second one, which I still don't r really remember his name too much. But um, I do like. I did like him a little bit. But I didn't really work with him that much. I just messed around a little bit. Uh, we're going to see if I like this girl or not. We'll, uh, we'll see where this leads us. But let's hop on in, boys. Let's see what this is. Or else I'm stealing it. So who are you then? Uh, no way, the pickle, uh, the pickle is the best part. All right, so who are you? Me? I'm a waitress, dummy. Waitresses a waitress, have to be okay. Whatever people want them to be. So you work here? Been waitress a, a long time? Or uh, uh, do you work here? I guess. Oh she shit! I pressed forever. the wrong shit, boys. Damn it. Whatever. At this point, it's less what I do and more who I am. But not Thursdays. Today's my day off. Oh, you telling me? Who's this guy? Oh, sorry to drag you here on your off day, I guess. That's Who was okay. that guy, by the way? It's nice to sit on the other side of the Is it like a, a ghost or something? See how the other half you plays. see that? What's going on here, man? Like a ghost. Is he going to appear next this to me or something? Isn't it dreamy? Yeah, it's perfect for this place. Sorry. Not my cup of tea. I'm just gonna mess around with her. I just want to troll everybody. The, every single driver I'm gonna have, I'm gonna troll them. What is going on here? You see that? The hell is going on? Mm, still, I can tell we have some things in common. Look at this shit is moving in its mouth. Such as, what do we have in common, my girl? By the way, this is a nice place. Hitchhiking isn't an easy trade. Waiting tables isn't either. I'll show you what I mean. Corned beef hash with three eggs over easy, whole wheat toast and hash browns. Two eggs scrambled with bacon, sausage, English muffin, and french fries with mayo instead of ketchup. Three eggs over easy with well done bacon and a side salad. Hold the toast, Greek omelet with well done hash browns and white toast, a short stack of blueberry pancakes, coffees all around, and one Diet Coke. So, how many orders of toast were there? I wait, say the order one more time. Okay, I guess. Uh, that was three orders. That was three of them. Count the English muffin as toast. Otherwise, it's two. What? How come it's two? I get it. Uh, you're good. Phew. Memories hasn't been my strong suit lately. Yeah, my, my memory hasn't been st uh, really good lately. Well, Why is everything multiplying right? around me? You see that? Time. Super weird, boys. To hitching a ride. You have to be able to read people very quickly. Waiting tables is no different. You get to know what people want before they know what they want. It's a sixth sense. What did you read from me? I misread the last driver. I think I misread the last driver. It's good you managed to lose Hops back there. Let me guess. Did he try to make you promise to meet him again? Yeah, he did. Weird guy. Yeah, he's a weird guy. He doesn't mean badly, Hops. He's just a bit stuck in the past. Easy now. That's why he has all that junk in his car. Can't let go of anything. Can't change. People like to solve problems with the tools they understand. Hops thinks all the useful tools are in the glove box of his own memory. That's why it's good you got clear of him. He's a bad influence for someone like you. Why would he be a bad influence? Now you're starting to make me feel like I should like him or something. Just because you don't like him doesn't mean I don't have to. How so? I like it, be I like it here better anyway. How so? You need to let go to move on. Really? And what if I... Okay. What, what's that all uh, meaning about right now? Do I want to move on? Do I want to let go? Like, I think I do want to move on, you know? I think I do want to just forget about the girl altogether. How can I let go when I don't even know what's happened? Good advice. I'm going to focus out, uh, out, uh, on there and now. I'm just going to... How can I let go when I don't even know what's happened exactly? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. Driving in the rearview mirror will only get you so far. You can't live in the past. Well, 
Judging by the faces in this place, you can't live in the present either. Look at these blue screen zombies. Everyone glued to their phones. Depressing. Maybe they're googling pickles they don't uh, that don't taste like rubber. Pretty uh, typical nowadays. Yeah, maybe they they're just googling that shit. Very funny. Offensive humor will serve you well when our new robot overlords take over. What are you talking about, robot overlords? Us. Not you two, though. You and your girlfriend. You were very much animated. So you did Although see us again, huh? Not in a good way. That was some argument. Where? Uh, where? Here? How come everybody remembers us arguing exactly? What the hell is wrong with us? Well, if it wasn't worth arguing over, it wouldn't mean anything, I guess. Uh, so what happened? I suppose that's one way of looking at it. I suppose that's one way of looking at it. Don't really you care what happened, there, boys. Sitting at the counter. Okay, so what were... Uh, I'm, I'm not one to eavesdrop. Some okay. Some have text messages. Being present. Present? Little suspect when it comes to couple arguing somewhere in public in the 21st century. I only caught the end of it. It was one of those things that suddenly boils over. One moment you were sitting there having your strawberry rhubarb pie and trying to figure out where the next gas station is. The next moment when I came back with your check, there was this big scene with you storming out the door. I stormed out the door? That doesn't sound like me at all. Where did I go? For someone who doesn't eavesdrop, you sure heard a lot. Yeah, I think you... I think you're just li you like to spy on people or something. I just want to be sure there's no trouble on my watch. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Like I said, it died down pretty quickly. She hung around for another 20 minutes, mainly talking on her phone. Then she got her stuff and left. It seemed like she was making a plan to meet somebody. That somebody was sure wasn't me. What gave you that impression? Catch any details? Well, what gave you that impression exactly? I'm curious. She uh, seems like she's very deductive or something. Well, the way she was talking, it seemed very intent. And when I was wiping down the counter, I found this. What's this? Have a look. You might find it interesting. The hell is this now? Business card. Turn it around. Argus Gas. SH51 Thursday, 4 p.m. That must be who she wants to talk to, I guess. Weird, right? Don't know who that it's is. Weirder, though. Check out the back. I did. Uh, thanks, but I already saw it the first time, yeah. Seems like some kind of rendezvous. I mean, I figure that's not your card. What the fuck? Look at everything. Yeah, I definitely saw that happen, man. That canyon nearly ran past, past us. The hell is going on in this shot? Uh, in, in this restaurant? What is the balcony tours? I don't get it. Where did it, where did I go? Exactly. That's what I'm wondering. I know, right? No idea. I mean, you don't even drive. Sorry, Copernicus. I've helped you all I can this time. Can you take me to the gas station? I've heard the line before. How do you know my nickname? Yeah, exactly. Why is ever why does everybody know my nickname in the first place, you know? That's kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Like I said, we all know each other on this highway. Do we? I don't know you, but sure, everybody sure knows me. That's for sure. I don't know what's going on. Should I bring that music again? While you're doing your thing, I'm just going to look around. Dinner break. Tap the waitress. Okay, so now it's time to do our thing. Uh, open the backpack. Uh, photos. So we got a bunch of photos. We got the photo from this house, of course. The photo of her and me, for some reason, toothbrush, dente, matchbook. Uh, it did say help over here, right? And a locked box right here as well. We still don't know what any of these things really mean. I don't think there's nothing truly for me going on right now. Everything seems pretty... I mean, at first sight, it seems pretty um, normal over here, around here. But you, you can see all the, the major differences and all, so I don't know. <coughs> That's a nice name though, Leia. Pass me the menu, will you? Why would I, I do that for? I have the seasonal milkshakes in yet. Can't you just pick it up yourself? Am I not, I'm not your slave or something, my girl. The hell? All right, take it. The hell is this? A well, card, well, a map. 
It's like a little map of your adventures. How convenient. It's very convenient, isn't it? Uh, Dante's. Wait. Dante's is that place. It's that match that it comes from. It co That match comes from there. Okay. Wait a minute. Is Dante's over here? Are we at Dante's right now? So that matchbook, right? It was from the uh, from uh, the restaurant that we're in right now, and Argus, she was talking about going there as well. We're going somewhere, boys. We're actually, oh, all right, I see it. Convenient. Even your gas station is there. Did you notice? That's crazy. It's a sign, you know. Sign of what? Of a lucid dream, random happenstance, strange coincidence. This might be a good time to test if you have superhuman strength or can fly or something. Really? I think I'll have peppermint mocha or vanilla caramel. Hey, Jan, you're saying this is all a dream, huh? Good luck ordering. Service seems slow here. Yeah, I think see, the service seems very slow around here. The part yeah, where she told I me I had powers doesn't seem less uh, like a strange She's thing to me. For a shake right Not gonna now. lie. Why? Who cares about a shake if none uh, none of this exists? I'm finding this very hard to accept, my girl. Well, things become real when we invest meaning in them. When we make them real. Interesting. Tori, I don't think it's that simple. There's a poem about this. A guy is having an argument with his friend. He's freaking out because the meaning of every word, everything, every idea seems to be falling apart. After a while, I understood that talking this way, everything dissolves. Justice, time, hair, woman, you, and I. Like saying name word over and over again? Where'd you read the, uh, the poem? I'm gonna just say the first one, boys. Exactly. Boop, menu, you, I, mustard. Mustard. It all starts to dissolve. Who's the other anyway? It's my day off reading. She wants to give me that. Yeah, you're gonna make me do everything, aren't you? Unbelievable. I'm kind of intrigued though by the fact that the map, right, is giving us a location at where we are. So we are at. Um, let's see really quick because that, the thing that I have, yeah, that's the matchbook, boys. It comes from Dente. It says help. So would the help thing mean from her or from you, uh, Leia? I don't know. I don't know if it comes from Leia or not, boys. It's kind of very uh, weird right now. So praise. Robert Robert Haas seems like a dumbass. I don't know, boys. What happened to this guy? Well, he remembers this lover he had, and that helps him get his head screwed on straight again. Well, in a sense. It's more that he thinks back to what it was like when they were together. And the different memories come together and leave him with a sense of specificity. That things are real and not just a big pile of words and concepts and stuff that fall apart the moment you try to squeeze them tight. He thinks back to when he was a boy and remembers this river where he would try to catch the little orange silverfish called pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed, I like that. I wish I had something solid to hold on to. Yeah, to be honest, nah, I'm gonna just say the first one. I don't really care about my memories that much. If I'm being honest, right, if I lost right. my memories, I don't think I would say. try and uh, to even remember, boys. At this Makes point, you just try and, and live a new life. Look you get me. a chance to live a new life. Me. Do it. See Why are you holding on to your past? That's garbage. Okay. Don't do that. I don't think you have to worry about that. What makes you so concerned exactly? You wouldn't believe how much people project their weird bullshit on me. It's the curse of the diner waitress. Less a real person and more a blank screen. Like confessing their problems? I guess the job's with a uh, comes with a certain stereotype attached, doesn't it? I can't tell you how many swinging dick detective McGurks I've met in this place. Give me a coffee as black as a moonless night, darling. Shit like that. But you do seem like a down-to-earth waitress type. People like to stick to their preconceptions. Well, people like to stick to, uh, stick to their uh, things, bo uh, girl. Everyone has an agenda. It is what it is. 
People think they come to a diner for food, but they're really looking for something much more profound. They want something, and at the end, they settle up. You bring the bill, and they have the chance to make good again. Everybody wants to be forgiven. It's a simple transaction. You're no different. How am I not different? Uh, how am I no different? I don't understand your uh, your point of view right now. I don't know what you're trying to say to me. I'm not looking for anything. Sounds like hard work. So what's my agenda then? Well, there's that box you're carrying around and want to get open. I don't want to get it open. I just got answers. it for free. But over the what can I say? Cuddly kind. You're not going to hang in when it starts getting heavy. You think I'm re unreliable? You seem distrustful, my girl. This whole modern problem of people not really being present, it's everywhere. What and about it? It's not a problem. It it's only a problem to Once you, the not to me. Started showing up, that was the tipping point. The robot what now? Robot doubles. The first models were so expensive, only Silicon Valley types could afford them, like electric cars. But pretty soon, it got to the point where basically anybody could afford a robot double of themselves. You could pick one up at Walmart, one aisle over from the toilet paper and the firearms. Even the company that produces my cheap-ass phone started them. They claimed they were on a mission to disrupt the human space. I hate that word, disrupt. What can they do, these uh, robot doubles? Why are they so popular? They pretty much do your bidding, but you have to be careful. It acts like you, but it only performs at about 70% of your capabilities. It's you, after a bunch of drinks. So, if you're smart, you only trust it to do really simple things for you. Go to the post office, jury duty, fill in for you at your boring job. But, people are lazy. They grow dependent on their robos, use them for all kinds of things they shouldn't. Making complex calculations, blowing up boulders. People send their robos off to be with their wives, their families, while carrying on affairs. Check it out. Imagine you and I are in a relationship. Then you notice I'm acting a little slow. My eyes aren't focusing quite right. Like this. Look. See it? I can't see any difference. No, I really can't see any difference, my girl. To me, everybody's a robot anyways. Who cares? You just need more practice. Then you'd realize that I just stuck you with a pile of bolts for the evening. What? Maybe I've also sent my robot to be with you. Exactly. What if I'm a robo? Didn't you think about that one, my girl? Right. So here we are. Two dummies out on a date together. Exactly. Would robo be smart enough to know that I'd sent mine? And if he knew, would he tell me? Or would they keep it a secret between themselves? All kinds of ethical issues, right? I don't know. I know you're trying to make your eyebrows move weirdly just to mess with me. So what's your beef with the robot doubles? I think like it's a great idea to be honest. I feel like everybody should have robot doubles. That's my dream it's come true right there, man. The if I could just have a no, robot double, exactly. go to my job, it's do my job instead of me, that would be once. perfect. I would stay at home, boys. Whatever. Here. What went wrong? It happened in my former life as a flight attendant. Grab that thing and pull up a chair. I'll tell you all about it. Oh, so you, you just switch stories? Just like that? Safety demonstrations. That's kind of cool. People are zoning out, staring at their phones like the blockheads in here. Or else just leering at you like you're the first woman they've ever seen wearing a uniform. But you start getting good at spotting the doubles. They're often the only ones paying attention. Staring at you with those not quite human eyes of theirs. Are they allowed to board planes by themselves? I mean, that's what kind of question is that? Of course, they're allowed. Just because they're robots doesn't mean they don't feel a thing. Like, what is this? Technically, no. They're not supposed to be there. What? How come? But like I said, people bend the rules, and security rarely checks. Sounds like a recipe for trouble. Not really. Not really. They're fine on the runway. Perfectly docile. But something goes wrong at altitude. Something about the navigation system. The FAA wanted to study it, but the study got shut down because you're not supposed to have them on aircrafts in the first place. 
Yeah, why would anybody send their body double on an aircraft though? Wouldn't that be like someone trying to travel away, having a nice vacancy and stuff like that, and all of a sudden they just they just send their body double to vacancy? What? Makes no sense. Why would you do that? Unless it's a professional travel thing, but even then, like, I feel like that's kind of stupid. I don't know, boys. So yeah, I learned to spot them right away. It becomes a job requirement, a matter of survival. Here, try your luck. Have a look at the table. What? The table? So, one mustard, fine. Three mustards, not so fine. The one on the left is the real one. See if you can track it. Oh, you were playing that game, huh? Oh, oh fuck 30. me. Oh, fuck me. All right. It's the third monster. Uh -oh. you just accused okay, no, you're not going to play that game with me, are you? Unfortunately. Oh, man, you are going way That's too going fast. To one complimentary business class upgrade. Want to play again? I uh, no thanks. I've had enough. Yeah, so, you're going way too fast for me. Pick that up again and what I'll the show hell? you what happened next. Pick that up again. All right, let's see it. Let's see what happens, boys. One time, we were doing a flight into Galveston, and we had a sudden drop of cabin pressure about a hundred miles from our destination. One of the robots opened the door or something, right? Probably. No, but imagine this. Everyone's freaking out. I'm trying to help a girl with her arm in a cast to get her oxygen mask over her head. Wait, why is there... Okay, first thing, where is there a girl alone in an airplane? Second thing, where does she... Why is she even in the plane in the first plane when she's clearly injured? What is, What type of goddamn security is this? You got any security or something? Are you in the United States? What's going on here? Suddenly, I'm aware of this Frankenstein monster lurching towards me. The Robos, they're like an army of the undead. Really? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of stupid. I don't know if they were affected by the sudden change in cabin pressure or what, but they just lost their shit. How many of them they are? What the fuck? Seems like everybody's a goddamn body double. That doesn't make any sense. People are screaming and we're huddled together like a band of villagers with pitchforks to fight these things. Throwing crap at them from the drink cart, locking them in the toilets and so on. Luckily, they started fritzing out on their own. Like Hal in 2001 when his brain starts melting. Let me tell you, as soon as we got over water, adios. Out you go, robos. Threw them right out of the cabin doors. So you just committed murder. Mass murder. That's great. And you're, you're happy about it. Fine, I guess. Whatever. The last part. That last part doesn't seem possible. Uh, you must be pr pretty traumatized. No, I don't think the last part uh, seemed pretty possible, my girl. Talking about zombies, mass murder. I don't feel like you're the type to do mass murder. Throwing the robos off the plane? No, you're right. That didn't actually happen. You can't just open the hatch door like that. Exactly, that would image, literally right? kill everyone. I think of it sometimes when I'm lying in bed trying to sleep. Like hunting sheep? Uh, you, you seem to really have them on the brain. Maybe so. They're everywhere these days. I can see one in this diner right now, in fact. Can you find it? Okay, so find the robot double. It, it's, it's somewhere in the diner. You know, I got a feeling it could be her. She could be the robot double. Or I could be the robot double. How about me? Am I the robot double? I mean, I, I thought you would be philosoph uh, philosophical on me or something like that. Is that the guy right here, or like, is that the the, the hard? That's right. I doubt. It's the king. Can you believe what? it? God, I miss the king. They say that it was the first robot. So that's the body double. Ever made. You would think it would be these goddamn ghost thingies, or her, or me. He had. Not the uh, not that's a poster. So bad. You're pretty down on the robot doubles, aren't you? I'm actually up on it, though. Am I? Says the guy who called his own girlfriend a robot. I seem to recall you standing right there, complaining, it's like eating lunch with an automaton. Oh, so did she actually send a robot? Did she send her double with me and that's why we got an argument? Is that what's going on here? I wish I remember. Fair point, I guess. 
You really don't remember anything? I don't, what and I don't want to. What happened next? Not a clue. Maybe the answers are inside my lockbox. I don't give a shit. I got no clue. Well, I've got a little game that might help you remember. It's kind of like a telephone seance. Ready? Alright, I guess I'll play. I don't have any other options, my girl. <clears throat> How the fuck Hello. is she doing that? That's kind of strange. Alright, this is very silly, isn't it? Is that you? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Yes, who is this? This is your girlfriend. Oh, is it? Yes, it's me. I'm calling from beyond the grave. Very funny. Uh-oh. Okay, uh, good to see you again, I guess. Uh, give me a break. Why'd you bring me back here, of all places? Of all the restaurants we've been to? Couldn't you have summoned me to that place with the sour cream pierogi? How do you know about that place? Well, the shakes here are this decent, I guess. See, I told you this is a good game. Okay, so, I'm your girlfriend. Somehow, I'm not with you now. And you don't know why, except... I am with you right now. That pretty much sum it up. Who did you go meet after you left home? Where, where are you even now? Yeah, exactly. That's just all. That's my question. I don't know. I don't want to know where she went that time. It doesn't matter. That's just going to lead to a chase, a non uh, infinite chase. I just want to see where she is right now. No, no. This is my game. I oh, get to ask the questions first. What's with this gas station you're trying to get to? What are you hoping to find there? Starting to remember things. Oh, I might I'm actually remember things. Interesting. Just like that, boys. Get gas in a sec. Hey, stop it. I remember arguing. Uh, aren't we always arguing? Love and the next four breaking up, right? What took so long? Were you just afraid of being alone? Not or a friend of being alone. I love being alone. Be the, the hell? The one who blows things up and hurts me. Were you waiting for permission from me to end it? Waiting for me to give you the green light? What? Exactly. Waiting for an excuse. Not exactly. What? This is starting to freak me out. I didn't want to hurt you. I think this is starting to freak me out quite a bit. I don't know. I don't like where this is going right now. I, I feel like I'm the asshole. I shouldn't be. Right. I'm never the asshole, That's boys. That's stuck around. Fear. You didn't want to break anything. You couldn't get over the idea that this great future we were supposed to have could just be wiped out. The beacon we'd always talked about. Our light in the bottle. Gone. You left it to me. Put it on me to do what needed doing. Well, I finally gave you the sign you were looking for, right over at that counter there. <clears throat> um, excuse me? Who did this? Who said anything? You guys need anything else or you're okay? For oh that? my fucking god. All right, well, this is definitely getting next level right here. You get your own do body do double, my girl. To make it different, right? Interesting. To fix things. I just want to help you. I don't want to help her. What the I hell's going on? Gas station, and I can be her for you. Together, we'll open the box. How's this possible? Would you be safe, Dan? How is this possible? What is going on here? I'm confused. I'm not that smart, boys. Happen. You can make it real. What do you say? Miss the old times? Let no, I don't. So I can let her be. You can replace her. Nah, this isn't right. Choice. There we go. I got her just in time, boys. You can ask me one question, whatever you want. There we go. I got it just in time. He didn't want to let me. Like it really was tough to choose the the no option, right? The uh, the 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 wrong option and stuff. I I managed to did it, to do it though. They can't control me. Who did you make plans to meet at the gas station? Where are you now? Oh my God! The same questions. Let's just go around the circle. Why don't we? In trouble. It's cold here. Oh, the ropes. different answers. Who put you there? The man on the phone. Well, all right. All right, boys. 
you know what i'll see you guys on the next video remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one i guess uh we just don't discover that i'm a mass murderer myself it's gonna be good uh, in the next video remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video keep it easy